Hello guys. So I know there is a plenty of videos online about this setup. Uh, this generator sucking the gas from another gas tank. But uh, everything is different. Somebody say you need to prime it. Somebody say it needs to be elevated. Somebody say you need to have a full tank. Okay, I don't know who is right, who is wrong. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna try for myself. Right now, this cap is from eBay, about nine bucks, and it seems like it's pretty well made. This is just a regular uh, nipple from Home Depot, and the thread fits nicely, so that's good. And this thread fits nicely to the generator also, so that's good too. And the tank is almost empty. I thought I'm gonna try it first with the almost empty tank. And this is just a regular gas in a can. And this is a tube that you can see through. So we will see how it's gonna suck up the gas, if it will suck up the, the gas, okay? And this gas, I mean, this can is pretty much full. So, Yeah, we'll just leave it right here and start it up. And let's see what's going to happen. And I am going to run it in a full speed. So it will suck up the gas a little faster, hopefully. And I get back to as soon as it starts sucking the gas. Okay, so the first uh, uh, trial, or whatever you want to call this thing, first, day, first, first time it didn't work, pretty much. It actually seems to me like it was bubbling back into this can. So I'm gonna fill up the gas tank right now and see if, if it's gonna pull any gas, okay?
Okay, so it looks like the gasoline made it all the way to the top and I think it's actually going over into the generator right now which is a good thing so the tank has to be full has to be full and uh, it will work you don't have to prime it so good luck if you try and I'm gonna put it in practice make it uh, a little more permanent thank you for your time